Hey everybody, it's Bart from the York County History Center with today's Did You Know? Did you know on November 3rd, 1777, General George Washington learned of the Conway Cabal, a plot to have him replaced as Commander-in-Chief? Thomas Conway, an Irishman serving in the French Army, became an American general during the Revolution. He served with distinction at the Battles of Brandywine in Germantown, but was highly critical of George Washington. Some members of Continental Congress were also questioning Washington's ability to lead the army. Chief among them were Sam Adams, Richard Henry Lee, and Thomas Mifflin. General Horatio Gates, credited with the victory at the Battle of Saratoga, was considered as a possible replacement for Washington. Conway, ever boastful, sent a letter to Continental Congress seeking a promotion to the rank of Major General. He also sent a letter to Gates encouraging him to try for the position of Commander-in-Chief and referring to Washington as a weak general. Washington eventually learned of the letter after Gates' aide-de-camp, James Wilkinson, revealed its contents while drunk. Washington called out Conway over the content of the letter and Conway offered his resignation to Congress. Instead, over Washington's protest, Congress promoted Conway to the position of Inspector General and made him the rank of Major General. Conway served with Washington at Valley Forge and reported to the Board of War, which appointed Gates as its president on November 27, 1777. Gates arrived in York, the acting capital of the United States, on January 19, 1778. He rented a house on Market Street, two blocks from Center Square, to be near Continental Congress. While in York, Gates hosted a banquet in honor of the Marquis de Lafayette to discuss the Frenchman's role in the planned invasion of Canada. In the upstairs banquet room, Gates' supporters went around the table making toast in honor of Gates and the victory at the Battle of Saratoga. When it was Lafayette's turn, he raised his glass and toasted George Washington. The assembled men didn't know how to respond. It is said that some of them raised their glasses to their lips while others simply placed it on the table. We desperately needed the support of the French so they couldn't afford to offend Lafayette. Footnote to history. It should be duly noted that the only written record of this toast appears in Lafayette's personal journal and wasn't published until after his death. The so-called Conway Cabal supporting Gates's replacement of Washington fizzled following Lafayette's toast and Congress receiving letters of support from Washington's top military officials. You can visit the York County History Center's Colonial Complex to tour the Horatio Gates House and see the statue of Lafayette. Thanks for watching. To learn more about your county's fascinating history, visit us at yorkhistorycenter.org.